Hey everybody, I'm Ben Bolin and today's question is about textbooks. Namely, what is the future of textbooks? And when we talk about the future of textbooks, more and more often it looks like we're talking about the future of electronic textbooks or digital textbooks. Uh, just a couple of facts, you know, first off, what is a digital textbook exactly? Well, if you own a Kindle, a Nook, an iPad, an iPhone, or any other number of mobile communication devices, then chances are you probably already had experience with an ebook of some sort. In the educational systems, not just of the United States, but of several other countries, more and more educators are asking if it's a better move over time to replace all those physical textbooks with uh, digital readers. Now, there are a couple of very obvious and pretty profound advantages to this move. Uh, first, there's less wear and tear. Uh, you won't have kids going into fourth grade using a beat up book that's four years old, which brings us to another great point. They're going to be more up to date. It's so much easier to update a digital textbook than it is to print a traditional textbook. Third, there's an enormous connectivity. You can take learning and make it more of a two-way street by having students and teachers interact with each other via the uh, interface on their digital textbook reader. And then another point that uh, could very much be a game changer is that this creates a multimedia textbook. Instead of looking at a static diagram of something in an anatomy book, for instance, uh, then you can look at a video of this. You can connect to a website. You can have your students interface in real time. Sounds great, right? I mean, it seems cool, especially if you're one of those ninth graders who had to carry around that brick and uh, your posture is probably still messed up. You would love an ebook reader. There are some disadvantages though, of course, and number one is the cost. Not just the cost of each ebook reader, which is already pretty expensive, but also the cost of replacing a network so that kids in a school could not only each have an ebook reader, but also have a network robust enough to support all these students online. And then there's the idea that we could find an education gap. This technology could spread unevenly. It's a very unlikely that the entire world or even an entire country, if you're talking about something as large as the United States, would be able to seamlessly replace traditional textbooks. This kind of hurdle is not big enough to stop the move toward digital textbook adoption. Right now, South Korea is one of the forerunners of this move. The South Korean government has funded an entire transition for grade school students from traditional textbooks to digital textbooks, to these e-readers. And they want to have every child in the South Korean education system using a digital textbook by 2015. They're putting billions of dollars into this, but if you think of the cost that they would incur over time to print more and more uh, physical textbooks every time we needed to update one, then there's a great argument there that they're actually making long-term savings. It's an argument that the current White House administration agrees with. In a February 2012 statement, uh, the Obama administration pushed for a faster transition to digital textbooks throughout the United States. Now, at this point, we're going down into a state-by-state -state governance, uh, municipality, almost school-by-school, -school, depending on where you live. So while it's tough to say when the textbooks in your area will become entirely digital, we are safe with saying that at some point in time, it's very likely that the old physical textbooks you remember from your grade school years are going to be antiques and most people will be reading off of a digital device. For more on this and thousands of other topics, visit HowStuffWorks.com. And don't forget to check out our other podcasts free on iTunes.